Hello there, Intergoes back with another programming video for the series. And today's video is all going to be about uh, plotting numbers on a graph and drawing in high resolution graphics. Now the graphics we've used on the other examples so far have all been done in low resolution, which is basically uh, drawing or painting in squares, like this square here. Whereas high resolution graphics, it does it all in pixels, which is uh, small little dots on the screen. Uh, each dot is a 64th the size of a square, so there's 64 dots in each one of these squares. So that just shows you how big the um, number of pixels are on the screen. There are 256 pixels going across and 176 pix pixels going down. But unlike the low resolution graphics where you plot your um, points from the top left corner, so 0, 0 would be up here and it works its way down. The high resolution graphics, it will start 0, 0 in this corner and go across and work up to the top right corner. So you just got to remember that when you're planning where these numbers uh, print things on the screen. So the first um, example we're going to use is a program called STAR and I'll explain what the plot and draw commands do. So the first line we just change in the ink colour to red too. Now in the next line we're using plot and it's putting a pixel at this uh, location on the screen. So 128 pixels across and then 174 pixels up so it'll be around here somewhere around the top I think now what the draw command does it's, it will draw a line from the last place that you plotted on the screen or the last place the draw command ended so wherever the last dot was created it will draw a line from there to this new uh, location so what this does is it says from the location it's already at, so 128, 174, draw a line 70 pixels across and 140 pixels back down. So it'll draw a line uh, between those two points. Then draw another line at 152 pixels back and 80 pixels up. So it'll draw a line like this. And then it keeps drawing lines and it should end up back at the point where we started. And it will draw a star. So I'll show you what it does. And there we go. So the first plotted point was up here. It's gone down, up, across, down and up. And it's drawn this star. And it's finished at line 70. So that worked perfectly. Now continuing on from this you can make the pictures a bit more colourful um, if we open up star number 2 which I've already saved by adding in these two lines here so you can use different numbers and it will put it in the correct order so line number 4 we're going to change the border colour to blue the paper colour to yellow the ink colour to blue and then clear the screen. We're then going to use a new um, command called circle and as it says it draws a circle. Now what the three numbers do is the first two give the um, position of the center of the circle so we want the circle at 128 across, 87 up and then the third number is the radius of the circle so how many pixels from the center to the edge and then it will draw a circle around that point once that circle has been drawn it then executes the program we already have so it will change the color of the ink back to red and then it will draw the star starting at the point we told it to so hopefully we'll have a blue circle with a red star in the middle. There we go. 
and then uh, so we're using the circle, the plot, and the draw. Uh, I think we've got time for a couple more. The next one we're going to do is show you how to fill in the um, shapes, uh, still using just the draw. So we do this by, if I get the triangle program. So the first line, I'm going to make the border blue, the paper is going to be yellow, the ink is going to be red, and we're going to clear the screen. Then we're using the for command again, which we've used before, which sets um, a number which repeats, uh, goes up in one each time until it's completed. So it's going to start at minus 100, and then it's going to repeat when it gets to next back up and add one to it each time so it would be minus 99 minus 98 all the way up to zero and then it go one two three four five six, seven all the way up to a hundred once it gets to 101 the program will stop looping on the next line we've got our plot so we where we want the drawing to start so 128 across 150 up and then it's going to draw a line to whatever x is so start off it's going to go minus 100 from its point around here somewhere so minus 100 this way and then so it's minus 100 and then it'll go minus 120 back down so it'll be around here somewhere and it'll draw a line straight down the next command then kicks in and it goes back to uh, here so this is now minus 99 it will go back to the original plotted point and this time it will draw a line to minus 99 across so one pixel less and 120 down and it will keep drawing lines across like this all the way along until it gets to 100 which should make a filled in triangle and this is what it looks like And there we go. So it plotted the point here every time. It came across and down and then drew the line to it. And then it kept doing that, adding one each time until it got up to 100. And then the program finished. And it makes it look like it's got a filled in triangle, but it's pretty much 200 lines coming from this point down to this bottom line to make this red triangle here. Finally, to make it look a little bit more impressive, you can make it skip lines. So if we open up triangle 2, we're adding in a new command called step, which I don't think we've used yet. And all that does is for this for statement here, so we're starting at minus 100 again, and it will add one each time when it gets to this next command until it gets to 400 but instead of adding one each time because it's got step after it it adds four so it's a it's a four number step rather than a one and you could add any number here and that's how many um, numbers it will skip each time so the first time for it be minus 100 then it will step four so it'd be minus 96 then minus 92 and it will keep doing that until it steps it up to over this 100 mark and then it will stop so it's the exact same program but the lines will jump four pixels each time instead of one and it has a nice little effect and this is what it looks like and that's it so as you can see there's a four pixel gap in between each of these lines and it starts up here so down the bottom it's more spread out and it makes this nice effect on the screen so there we go that is drawing with the plot and the uh, draw commands and also introducing the step command I hope you liked the video please remember to thumb it up and leave some comments of what you think about the series so far and I'll do another one soon cheers <laughs>